one of the things I love in your book is you're writing about, you know, the early days of Rolling Stone and everyone always wants to know how, where did the name come from? And, uh, you know, sure enough, I get from the book that Mick thinks you got the name Rolling Stone from the Rolling Stones, but in fact, Bob Dylan, like a Rolling Stone, that's mm -hmm. where the name came from, right? It wasn't Mick. It, well, it was primarily because of Bob's song. Because that was, right. <clears throat> in fact, which later on over the years became the Rolling Stones' number one rock song of all times. But um, it was, I gave credit essentially in the first issue to Bob, but I also mentioned the Stones as them having a name too. So kind of shared. And then once one of the best experiences of my life was I was inducting the Stones into the VH1 or the MTV Hall of Fame. And in the introduction, I thanked them for the use of the name. And then Mick came on and says, oh, you're so lucky we gave you your name because otherwise you would have been called Herman's Herman's Monthly. Big laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so that a week later, Bob is doing MTV Unplugged in New York, and I went up and said hello to him there. He says, I saw you last week on, on the television. You gave the credit for the magazine to the Stones, and you know perfectly well it was my name. You got the name from me. <laughs> so I thought, well, first off, I equivocated kind of like, oh, oh he didn't mean, I mean, what I really meant, well, I, you know, all this groveling shit. And then <laughs> I just thought, I am, talk about being flattered. I mean, these guys are kind of, can quibbling over the it? credit for it? It's, I mean, wow. N not what only quibbling honor. over the credit, but they were kind of pissed at you. Like Mick was pissed at you, and everyone <laughs> felt ripped off, and they somehow you owed them something. Do you wish, in retrospect, you didn't call the magazine Rolling Stone and just have some original name where you didn't have to deal with all these guys I freaking out? I couldn't think of an original name. Remember, it was the interior of the Grateful Dead and the Jefferson Starship and Moby Grape and all this stuff. And so we were thinking of names like, you know, what, the Electric Apple or... <laughs> the electric typewriter or nothing right. quite worked. I mean, who can you imagine if you'd called the electric apple and you were talking interviewing me about the electric apple today? No. So it, it turned out that Rolling Stone was a great choice. I mean, because in it, in a, it was kind of odd at first, but it you you make it mean what you but when you do whatever it is, that's what the meaning becomes. And what a great name for a rock and roll newspaper. Yeah. And it really stood out and it was really unique and uh, and that, and it's worked out fantastic. And Mick, I mean, neither of them were really ever angry about it, you know. 